Hi guys, today I'm here with my December favorites. I was thinking about skipping this one, but then I had a bunch of products pop up throughout December that wouldn't necessarily make it into my best in beauty 2016 because it wouldn't really be fair for them to like slide in at the end and take the place of something that I've truly loved throughout 2016. So I thought I would still do a December favorites, show you what I have been loving. So let's get started. On my cheeks today is the MAC Mariah Carey Sweet Sweet Fantasy Blush. I did a video with my first impressions of this collection and trying it out. If you'd like to see that, I will link it down below. This collection is supposed to be in stores until January 26th, so hopefully it will like come back in stock and you'll be able to get whatever it is that you want from the collection. This is a matte blush with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. I really don't get much gold shimmer when I apply it to my cheeks, and for me, when limited edition collections come out, I have a tendency to grab for things even if I don't truly love the color. I love the packaging, I love Mariah, whatever it might be, but this is truly a color I can see myself reaching for all the time. If you are a fan of the Bombs Swiss Dot, which is like my all-time favorite blush, this totally reminds me of it. It's just got a gorgeous corally peachiness to it, but something that is so wearable with any look, and it just gives a nice pop on the cheeks. So if you're looking for a blush like that, or if you've been kind of eyeing the MAC Mariah Carey collection, this is a good one. A new product to Maybelline is something that you should see popping up on shelves this month or next. It is the Dream Cushion Foundation, and this was the first foundation I tested out for the 12 Days of Foundation, which I will link to down below. I plan to do a whole roundup of everything that I tried, so that will be coming in the new year. So I've got a few new favorite foundations, a few foundations that I really didn't like, so I will save all of that for that video, but I did want to mention this just because it is new and in case you were curious about my thoughts on this. I I still really really like this. Um, I do think that it is long wearing. It's definitely not as luminous as it says it is, which is funny because when I was watching um, Tati or Glam Life Guru's review, she said it wasn't long wearing, it wasn't luminous, and that was not the experience that I had with this foundation at all. So really depends on your preferences, what you expect of the foundation. She had also mentioned that there was only 0.5 um, fluid ounces in here, but that is kind of the average size of a cushion foundation. That being said, I feel like you will use it up a little bit faster, um, but that is kind of average size. It is a little bit pricier, 15 to $20, but I loved the finish on my skin. I felt it applied really nicely with the sponge. It had good wear time, and I think it could work for a lot of different skin types. So let me know if you have seen this around and if you've tried it, because I've really been enjoying it. And then something else from Maybelline. This basically encouraged me to do this video, because I was like, I can't put this in the 2016 like best of products, but it is so amazing. It is the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It is all I have on my lashes today, and I'm wearing a little bit of a darker eye makeup today, so I don't know if you can tell, but my lashes are so full, so curly. It holds the curl. It does not flake on me. It is so incredibly voluminous. It lengthens. It's just like it's amazing. I love to layer mascaras and there's only very few out there that I feel like I don't need to um, layer different mascaras to get my, vo my volume, my length, but this truly gives me everything I need. It's from the drugstore. It's in a gold tube. Win, win, win. The NYX Sweet Cheeks Palette is something that I have been eyeing since it came out. I recently did a buns trade for it, so if you live here in Toronto, it's this huge trading community where you'll um, trade a product. So it's all bartering. You can do it for a makeup, for our decor, all kinds of different stuff. I will link to it down below, but I don't remember what I traded this for. But anyways, I met up with someone. We had our little like makeup trade. They had never used this palette. I traded them like a hydrating primer or something that I didn't want. And I am so happy I got my hands on this. I love all the shades in here, especially the really like warm orangey shades. It definitely looks super pigmented in my swatches, but that being said, it's not a really powdery formula. So it's quite hard. You will get a little powder kick up, but it doesn't have so much pigmentation in there that you've really got to go lightly on the cheeks and I kind of like that. You can get a really light wash of color, you can build it up more. I love the quality of these, really blendable, great wear time and I think that this is an awesome option from the drugstore. Here in Canada it does retail a little bit expensive, like $30 is hard to swallow for a blush palette, but try and get your hands on it um, on sale. Perhaps you might be able to get it during a Boxing Day sale, New Year, all that kind of good stuff, but it is definitely worth it. 
A lipstick that I was loving this month is Kat Von D's Studded Kiss in Mother. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this is limited edition packaging. Is this lipstick limited edition? Because I know they've got Mother in the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, but I could not find it on the Sephora website in the Studded Kiss regular lineup, but it is on the Kat Von D website in the Studded Kiss packaging. Either way, I love this. I was wearing it in my Revlon Color Stay review that I did earlier this month. And when I was going back and editing, I was like, what's on my lips? Because what I'll do before I film is I sit down and I talk to the camera and tell the camera what I'm wearing because otherwise I will never know what to put in the description box to let you know what was on my face. So I was like going back through the footage, scrolling through, trying to figure out what it was and it was this guy. And it is just a beautiful shade. I know people love the everlasting liquid formula of this, but um, as for the lipstick tube, it is gorgeous. It's a beautiful mid-tone pink. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of a warmer, deeper, what is it called? Flat Out Fabulous from MAC and it is just so pretty. I always forget to mention brushes on my channel and I did recently an e.l.f. week where I chatted all about my favorite e.l.f. brushes and I have used this guy so much this month basically for all of my foundation reviews. It is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. If you're looking for something that's going to give you the most coverage possible out of a foundation, easy to blend, this is it. It's very similar to like an, a Sigma F80. It's a denser than my Real Techniques buffing brush, which I absolutely love. But if you really want to get a lot of coverage out of your foundation, this is an awesome option. And not only that, it costs like $6, super affordable, feels really sturdy. I've had it for a few months now. So um, I think that this is really good if you're looking to like dabble in foundation brushes, because I know when I started, I was using like those flat foundation brushes. Then I moved to sponges, which I still love. But if you're looking to get the most bang for your buck in quality and out of your foundation, this is it. I've gotten a few comments lately about my skin and people were curious as to what I was using because it has cleared up. I am breaking out a little bit right now because you know, it's that time of the month. But there's a few items that I've been using that I have been really liking. The first one is from Rodeal. It is their snake mask. So this is like a black peel off mask. And it says it is a jet black brightening mask with snake, depeptide, French clay and licorice extract. I use my, this myself and I also convinced my boyfriend to use it. We both really liked it. The only problem I had or I thought I was going to have was putting it on. It's hard to get like a really even layer. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to peel this off my face, but it actually did peel off really well. I did have to do it in a few different um, like portions, but I thought I was gonna be like peeling it off my face for days. But it le left my skin feeling very, very soft. Um, it detoxed, it didn't feel dry. So it really felt like it kind of did something for my skin without totally stripping it. And I don't know if it is like the peptides in there, a little bit of clay, the licorice is something I've never used in skincare before. But if you are in Canada, it is now available at Shoppers Drug Mart. If you are familiar with Nicole Guerrero, she is a gigantic YouTuber, has like 3 million subscribers and is coming out with something from Anastasia. And as of right now, when I'm filming this, I don't know what it is. Maybe we already know by now. I'm hoping it is a palette because she has gorgeous taste in makeup, but she created her own skincare line called Best Damn Beauty. And I have been using the Best Damn Beauty oil and I'm only just starting to dabble in oil. As you know, I have oily skin and I've always been scared of it, but it is really important to keep your skin hydrated so that it doesn't overproduce oil. This is great. I've been mixing this in with my nightly moisturizer, which is the Clarins Multi-Active Night, and this just leaves my skin feeling moisturized. I've tried other oils that feel really heavy on the skin, and it's just too much for my skin type. So if you have an oilier skin type, normal combo, um, this could be really good for you. It's got um, antioxidants, fruit oils in here, and it's got a nice light rose scent. And when you wake up the next day, your skin doesn't feel greasy by any means. It just feels hydrated. And I've got a coupon code for this actually so I will link to that down below. And lastly, I want to talk about an item that I spoke about in my Moisturizers for Oily Skin or Matte Moisturizers video. This is the Bioderma Bioderma per <laughs> Bioderma Pore Refiner. This is a little bit small, a little bit pricey, but it's amazing. If you have oily skin and you're looking for a moisturizer that's truly gonna help control your oils, I like to use this when I'm going out at night to an event. I'll use it in the daytime too, but then I'll kind of have to mix it with an SPF because there is no SPF in it. But otherwise, this stuff is beautiful. It's a little pony feel to it, but I truly feel like it helps with my oil production. It really kind of draws it back a little bit 
either helps extend the length of my foundation or the oils don't come through as early. And this is just something that I have been reaching for all the time and I think it is such a good option. If you are Canadian, it's a little bit easier to get your hands on Bioderma, but if you are American, they do sell this on the Beautylish website. For my YouTuber of the month, it is Emily Noel. I mentioned her earlier in a video beginning of December I think and I said she was my YouTube god and a few of you guys were like yes she's the best um, she's been on YouTube for years one of the first people I started watching I think when she was like back in her old house had the pink room if you guys remember that she actually started off as a news anchor which is something that I've always wanted to do so I feel like that's why I like her so much but she also just has such a wide um, breadth of knowledge when it comes to makeup she tests things out for a really long time she's not just like striving to get up the most like clickbaity video that is just like not actually helpful she seems to really think about creative options that aren't already out there and things that are gonna help you and she does drugstore high-end and I just think that she is absolutely fabulous and genuine and unbiased and I really really appreciate that and she always inspires me to like try different things and randomly she happened to be in Charlottesville Virginia at the same time I was in Charlottesville Virginia and I didn't find out till after the fact and I was truly heartbroken like there's a few years YouTubers out there that I would really love to meet but she's truly one of those people that I think like if you met it wouldn't be like super weird she seems really real and if I ever got the chance it would just be so awesome I will link to her down below you're probably already watching her um, but she is fabulous so if you're not be sure to check her out thank you so much for watching my December favorites be sure to stay tuned for my best in beauty 2016 that's coming up soon and if you would like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and snapchat at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye Bye.